Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Avery and here are some forbidden romance recommendations for y'all. <laughs> Okay, so I'm very excited for today's video. Today I'm going to be recommending 10 books that have the forbidden romance trope in them. All of them are like vastly different as to why they are forbidden, but all of these are like forbidden and like probably shouldn't happen and they have to like kind of like sneakily get together if you know what I mean. I love forbidden romances and I feel like there needs to be more recommendations for forbidden ones because like I feel like everybody loves a good forbidden romance, you know? So I'm gonna hop right into these recommendations. First we have Bitter Rival by Jay Sterling. This is a contemporary romance and I believe all but one of the books on this list are contemporary romances. I think I have one historical and all of them are contemporary ones. I need to like diversify my recommendation lists, I've realized. I need to like make it more well-rounded instead of just contemporary. It needs to be like a bunch of different sub-genres. I need to, I need to, I need to fix that for my future ones but <laughs> anyway, Bitter Rival by Jay Sterling. This is like a Romeo and Juliet retelling kind of but um instead of like feuding families well it's feuding families but they're feuding like families who have wineries next to each other so basically um we have our hero and our heroine and their families have been at war with each other um when it comes to their winery companies they live they both live on a vineyard that are right next door to each other and growing up um, they've always like their parents have always told them don't talk to them You're not gonna be friends with them even though they've always been curious about one another and have wanted to get to know one another But then like something happens to where both of them start Hating each other. They see each other in public one time and then something happens to where like they start the ball rolling of them like actually realizing that they have feelings for one another and um, that they don't actually hate each other and it's just their family getting in the way and so it's a very Romeo and Juliet Esque with the feuding families and not wanting them to be together and then having to hide them being together. I thought this was super duper fun. I listened to this on Audible Escape back when Audible Escape was a thing, um, but this definitely has a forbidden aspect to it. Next we have Your Dad Will Do by Katie Robert. <laughs> this one is so stinking good. This one is forbidden because there is a romance between our heroine's ex-fiance's father. Um, so this book starts out with our heroine I think either her boyfriend like dumped her or her fiance dumped her or she found out that her, her her fiance was cheating on her. Either way, she's always had kind of like an attraction to her fiance's father. Um, and so to get back at her fiance, she decides to go over to his dad's house and get with him. And um, turns out they've always had these deep feelings for one another. His dad has always thought that she's too good for his son. If you've read Birthday Girl by Penelope Douglas, like that one's forbidden too. That could also be on this list, but it's not. Um, this is basically Birthday Girl, shorter and steamier. Again, it's forbidden because that's her ex-fiance's father. <laughs> You know? Okay, next we have My Favorite Souvenir by Vi Keeland and Penelope Ward. And I can't tell you why this is a forbidden romance. Like, it would spoil it. Like, it would spoil the main, like, conflict and everything. I cannot tell you why it's forbidden, but it is forbidden. So, our heroine in here, she gets, like, stood up by her... It's either boyfriend or fiance, I think it's fiance, um, on this like ski trip that they planned. She's basically alone, he did not come, and so she's stranded at this resort and she goes to find a plane to get on. They're all booked, a snowstorm in their area, um, they can't get any flights out. And so she goes back to the hotel to get her room back um, and like they're all booked and everything. And so while she's waiting in the waiting room, just sitting there, she notices that one of the guys who's also sitting in the waiting room is pretending to be somebody who has not like come gotten their reservation yet. Like he's pretending to be somebody he's not so that he can get a room. So she notices this and then pretends to be his sister so that she can also get a room with him. And um, they end up like becoming friends and everything. And they go on this little bit of an adventure while they're on this little vacation together and then they might have to go back to the real world and then the forbidden aspect pops up. Uh, I can't tell you what it is. This one was pretty entertaining. This is my first Vicky Penelope Ward book I've ever read but uh yeah I can't tell you what the forbidden aspect is in here but it definitely is forbidden. Um <laughs> yeah um I really enjoyed the first part of this book more than the second half of the book. The forbidden aspect in here wasn't really my favorite thing ever but I know that p other people really enjoyed that. So that's why I'm recommending it to you. Oh wait, you know what? I found a alien romance that can fit 
into this category. <laughs> so we have Captive Desire by Robin Lovett. Uh, this is actually book number two in the Planet of Desire series. Um, I feel like you should read book one to get the world building and everything. But basically this is a planet that human and then their alien arch nemesis um, have like both crash landed onto this planet where there's like toxins in the air. And if you're not constantly doing it, like you'll be in extreme pain. Um, <laughs> so this is book two in that series. And so our heroine is one of the human soldiers she's trying to get like go across the planet to find her people because right now she's with the alien people and so our hero in here is the general to the leader from book one and um he is actually a widow in their culture they have to mourn their like mate for i believe at least 200 years or more i don't remember i think it's 200 years before they can even think about or their body can even react to them like finding a new mate before the 200 year mark. And it's been only 100 years since his previous mate has passed. And he starts having feelings for this human woman who is his sworn enemy, sworn enemy. And he's not supposed to be having these feelings for another 100 years. Like he's not supposed to be having these feelings. And so it's forbidden in the fact that their people don't get along. They are like, they hate each other and then he's not supposed to be having these feelings like he's in mourning still even though he's come to grips with his previous mates passing and everything um and he wants to move on he's not allowed to like it's not it's not allowed in their culture whatsoever and so um he's like struggling with all these feelings and everything and there's definitely a couple forbidden aspects in this book but i really recommend reading book one first because there's more world building in that one but yeah this one definitely has uh forbidden parts in there next i have american queen by sierra simone this is the first book in the new camelot trilogy i don't really recommend the other two in the trilogy they're not really my favorite book one was probably the best and i gave it four stars it dragged on like it dragged on i didn't feel like the series needed to be three books long it could just been one a little bit longer book you know um but anyway this is about our heroine she gets in a relationship with the president of the united states and his vice president and the president and the vice president also get together too so it's a thruple situation and so it's kind of forbidden because they're they, they cannot tell anybody in the public like it would be huge scandal huge uproar to know that there's a thruple marriage a part of the presidency and everything and that all three of them love each other and so it's very forbidden in that aspect this is a camelot retelling if you didn't know it's called the new camelot trilogy um and so i found this book really enjoyable the first one is super fun super fun to read um but the other two just drags on for too long i mean you can read them if you want to to get the full-blown story but they're not as enjoyable as book one to me but that's just me personally that's my opinion very forbidden secret keeping the whole nine yards, probably one of the most forbidden books I've read. <laughs> Next, I have Voyeur by Fiona Cole. This is forbidden because this is a relationship between a woman and her uh, college professor. <laughs> so our heroine's parents ended up using all of her financial aid on their own things instead of letting her pay for, letting her use it for school, which was what it was meant for. And so she's trying to find money so that she can stay in college. And so her friend, her friend's uncle owns this club called Voyeur where couples get together and people can watch couples for money and everything our hero he comes into this club voyeur um and he sees somebody that he really likes and he also has a very damaged past just by the way look up the trigger warnings for this book before going in he's a very damaged hero um he goes in and he finds this woman super attractive and is super interested in her and just comes to this club to watch her specifically and then he comes into his first day of teaching um as a professor at the semester and she is sitting in his class <laughs> and she also ends up becoming assistant in his teaching department and everything so they work together kind of very forbidden <laughs> and he's also kind of like keeping the secret from her and trying to tell her how he feels and tell her that he knows her already and like he has started like developing feelings for her through watching her in voyeur um and so it's quite scandalous quite steamy and very forbidden <laughs> next i have behind closed doors by jl berg this is book number three a part of the walls series if you didn't know one second one of my favorite books is uh, Within These Walls by J.L. Berg. And so this is the story of our hero's brother, I think. His brother, his brother. Um, so this is book number three in the series. I don't know if you need to read book one 
the first books before this one. I'm not certain. I'm not certain. I don't know. Get back to me. Message me or something. I have no idea. Or look into it yourself. I have no idea if you should read book one before book three. But in my personal opinion, I really like reading the first books in the series before the rest. Anyway, so his name is Roman and he is very much known as being a jerk, a stick in the mud, grumpy hero and he owns this very big company and so this is a romance between him and his temporary assistant because his assistant is on maternity leave so he had to bring in a temporary assistant um until his like full-time assistant comes back after giving birth and everything her name is Kara. she's off limits obviously because that's his assistant oh my gosh wait pause it says this book is a spin-off to that series and can be read as a standalone. So there you go. If you want to read it as a standalone, they said, she said it's okay, the author. <laughs> anyway, okay, so this is a romance between Roman and Kara, and it's forbidden because that's his assistant and everything. They work in the same place. I think this also is a grumpy sunshine trope, if you're into that. I love those books so much. So the forbidden aspect definitely fits into the workplace with this book. Next, I have It Takes Two to Tumble by Kat Sebastian. This is the, the historical romance that I had for this list. This one is forbidden because it's an LGBTQ romance a gay romance during a time when that was not accepted whatsoever unfortunately um so this book is basically a gay retelling of the sound of music <laughs> without music <laughs> so our hero he is a vicar people have been telling him that these children that live in this big house like they've been causing a ruckus in town and he really needs to go in and help this family out and so he goes to this family to help with the kids and help take care of the kids and love on them and cherish them and just see what's going on and why they're acting out. And so then our other hero in this story is actually these kids' father. And so it's also a single dad romance. He's coming back from being on the seas because he is a sailor, I'm pretty sure. He's an absentee father. He leaves like the nanny and basically the house staff to take care of the kids for a very long period of time. He barely has a relationship with his kids. And so it's about the vicar in this story, like trying to show this dad like how amazing his kids are and like how important it is to get to know them because the dad was like just like traumatized by their mother's death you know and like they look so much like his wife his past wife his wife has passed I didn't even say that his wife has passed it's a romance between the two of them and oh my goodness it is so cute and so sweet but it's definitely forbidden unfortunately because of the time period that they're in they have to hide how they feel for one another out in public and with anybody else besides themselves i just found this one super refreshing super fun and just overall really cute next i have the protector by jody ellen malpass and the forbidden aspect in this book is that our hero is our heroine's bodyguard everybody thinks that our heroine is a very big daddy's girl and just lives off of her dad's fortune but she is not like that she is determined to live a life without her father whatsoever so this is her getting out of rehab because she was in rehab um she's getting out of rehab and she's determined to live a life on her own now so after she gets out of rehab her dad assigns her a bodyguard um and so his name is jake sharp and um he has sworn never to be distracted by one of his like like employee like one of his um what's it called customers like the person they're protecting um like he's sworn never to like be distracted by them ever again because i think it's happened in the past and it ended drastically drastically both of them like are fighting the attraction like the whole entire book once they get together it is fire it is fire it is steamy and amazing once they get together oh it's so worth it uh this is definitely forbidden um they hide their relationship for a while and the last book on this list is on the island by tracy garvis graves i actually ended up giving this one three stars it's not my favorite thing in the world but i know that people adore and love this book so i'm gonna recommend it to you because i know that other people love it so this one is forbidden because it is a romance between an older woman she's in her 30s she's 30 years old her uh the the guy she is tutoring the teenager she is tutoring um but nothing happens until he is of age just by the way so basically this is a book where our hero i believe he had cancer if i'm not mistaken and so he hasn't been in school for a while so he's needing a tutor his parents hire him a tutor to help him get caught up with school and i believe they're like flying to a different country for them to like all be together like his family is already in this country or this state i don't know where they flew to but they're flying somewhere the uh heroine and the hero of this book are going to meet up th with them later and so they're on a private plane together with just them and the pilot and they end up like crashing the pilot ends up crashing this plane on this deserted island the pilot dies so it's just the heroine and the hero she's 30 he's 17 
and they have to live to survive on this island for years like years for years they're stuck on this island and again he's over 18 when they get together nothing's wrong but again they've been on this island for years and yeah it's forbidden but like at like a certain point they're like we've been here for so long we're probably not getting rescued like crazy um but they end up developing these feelings for one another even though um again she is way older than him and she was his tutor uh so it's quite forbidden a little bit scandalous i know that other people really love this book so i wanted to put it on this list but unfortunately i think i might have to reread it maybe i have it on my kindle i might reread it at one point um but i know that it just wasn't my favorite thing in the world i feel like once they um Oh, I don't want to spoil it. Never mind. So, uh, my, my reasoning for not really enjoying it all that much was like a spoiler, so I can't really talk about it. Um, but again, very forbidden, forbidden aspects in here. So there you have it. Those are some forbidden romance recommendations for y'all. Please let me know down below if you have read any of these books or if you plan to. But anyways, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye y'all.